just that reason. <laughs> very, very much so. <clears throat> now, do you uh, dare we comment on the uh, state of modeling at, at, uh, at this uh, particular period of time? There isn't any. The, uh, the, the, uh, the only place where you'll find modelers and modeling is in free flight and to some smaller extent in control line. And why do, you, why do you think that is? I, I think that RC became the, the um, what's that machine that, that, that it's on a video game that goes around eating everything up? Okay, RC became Pac-Man, gobbled everything else up. Don't you think? I would say, I mean, you know, I paying attention for my experience through modeling is uh, <clears throat> probably around the 60s, you saw equal coverage for Control Line, RC, and Free Flight in every magazine. And then by the 1990s, it was 90% RC with little, little tidbits of control line. And that's because that's where the money was. Mm -hmm. Everything anymore today is about money. At one time, on the front cover of an of a aero modeling magazine, you had a nice painting of an airplane. Now you've got a photograph of an off with smashing. Uh, 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 headlines, blazoned all over. You, you haven't even got a, a complete picture anymore. <laughs> They've got to garbage it all up. Yeah. Now, do you think, um, it's hard to say, I know, but um, do you think RC could experience um, somewhat of a renaissance like the free flight has? And in other words, free flight almost got completely gobbled up by RC, but there were still some people that held on to it that still kept it going throughout that time period where mm -hmm. RC was the only show in town. Right. Um, and it's still around. Um, do you think that the similar thing could happen with RC scale in particular? Uh, not as it's currently constituted. Um, in fact, it has gone the other way where, where even, even RC scale competition in some areas now allows arts. So it's actually gone the other way. In fact, um, I can think of a few, a few guys in my club who are wonderfully good builders. They can build a model as good as anybody, but they don't anymore and they buy arts. They say, well, uh, I can't make anything uh, anywhere near for anywhere near this amount of money. Here we go again with money. Like money was, like money mattered. Mm. It should have been the experience of building the airplane that matters. I mean, I can work on a, I can work on a wing like this here, and say to myself, how can anybody not love this shit? <laughs> No, but certainly I don't, but I know it sounds morbid and it sounds gloomy, but uh, there isn't any, um, there isn't anything to look forward to. No, it's not going to be a renaissance or any of that. What's going to happen is that the existing people who do free flight and, and the elder ones who do control line, those people like me, they're going to die and then it's gone. And, and like I said before, it's just we're lucky that we were here for it. When it was here, we were here, and we were lucky, so uh, enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been, you've been involved with Top Gun since its inception, haven't you? Yes. And um, are you seeing some of the same trends even in Top Gun that, you, that you're describing to me? Uh, well, yeah, very, very much so. I mean... Um, 
I, 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 uh, I fell out of uh, competing in Top Gun because it, it just, the desire to do it slipped away from me. And uh, also a big factor was that uh, Frankie um, didn't want to run a, uh, a transmitter impound anymore. So he said, everything's got to be 2.4. Well, I'm not into 2.4. I don't have a 2.4 radio, so therefore I can't fly in it. And all of those events that, um, and it's not only Top Gun, there's others too that, that have gone to a requirement for 2.4. Well, there's going to be people that are, uh, they're going to lose because of that. Interesting topic that I've written about, and I'm I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are about. Um, there seems to be in modeling and other aspects of life, I guess, but um, this absolute chase for technology. It seems um, where you know I've got you know X number radio, 2.4. It's the first generation. Oh well, 2.2.4 second generation comes out. I've got to cash in my first one and go buy that one. You know, the, the mentality seems to be that when the next one comes out, you just give up everything that you've got, throw it away, it's no good anymore, buy the next one. It's called marketing. <laughs> okay? It's like uh, VHS gave way to uh, DVD. DVD is giving way to, what is it, Blu-ray or something? Right. There's nothing wrong with the, uh, what we had. It worked perfectly well. Yeah. That's like, uh, I'm saying I don't want to go to 2.4. The reason is that for these low, these 40 years, I've had a 6 meter license and a 6 meter radios, which gave me the one thing that 2.4 is giving everybody else now, freedom from interference. It gave, I've had that all along. So 2.4 doesn't offer me anything, except maybe it offers me the chance of wiping out a perfectly nice aeroplane because of, uh, let's call it infant mortality, uh, of new ideas. New ideas are not always right straight away. And in fact, we've had issues with 2.4. And I'll be hanged if I'm going to put a 2.4... Uh, a suspect radio in one of my airplanes where my six meter radios has been working for 40 years. <laughs> and does the same thing. That's the point. Does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I, I didn't get my first 2.4 radio until about a year ago, and that was because it was given to me. Inherited, yeah. really. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, you, can, you can see it. If you take a look at any of the classified sections, um, Electrics are a good example too. Um, Ast Astroflight was probably the front runner for 20 years. Oh yeah, yeah. Technology. Well, they were the pioneers. Absolutely, Bob Boucher. Um, yes, definitely. But people decided when brushless motors came out, all oh, the cobalt motors are no good anymore. So I, I've bought cobalt motors that are extremely cheap. Nothing wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Some of them new in package for. Ten cents on the dollar because somebody decided yeah. I'm going to buy a brushless, brushless motor from China instead, um, which uh, maybe begs the question of quality in not only RC but modeling in general. Um, uh, it seems as though quality has kind of taken a huge downturn for the sake of saving a few bucks. Would you say that you're seeing that? As well? uh, I, I'm I'm not certain that that's entirely fair. Um, one could say that today's tackle in terms of radios, engines, uh, and, and associated high-tech things are better than they ever have been. Um, so uh, there, there might be a second side to that coin. Uh, we, we might have to agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> some weight to it. You can tell it's built solidly. It's built to last mm -hmm. for a long time. Um, it's got a metal case. 
Yeah. If you take it apart, the gimbals inside are all metal. Yeah, yeah, um, well, yeah, and yeah. You compare that, you know, I've, I've just recently gotten a uh, Spectrum radio, and you pick it up, you can pick it up with your pinky because yeah. it, <laughs> it, weigh, it weighs a couple of ounces. It feels like a piece of plastic. Well, um, th that is said to be an advantage, you see, if it's light, the little kids can hold it and so forth. And uh, yeah, 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 you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to give uh, an eight-year-old a, a CG Hercules 10-channel transmitter from 1960. <laughs> Double them over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, have you, uh, would you say that you've achieved most of your modeling goals? Uh, yes, I, I have, yes. I have one left that I'd like to do, and I could I could make an effort to do it any time, I just haven't got around to it, and that is I would like to win the United States Nationals scale event in control line. I, I've done it in RC several times. I've done it in free flight scale, but I've never won the US Nats control line scale event. It's, it's simply a matter of getting around to it, applying myself, focusing on the job, and, and doing it. Uh, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I would like to do that. Uh, do, you, do you have any subjects in mind? Uh, no, no, no. I would simply look for um, uh, something good. Of course, these days, um, control line scale uh, has got marvelous advantages that it didn't used to have. I mean, now we can do everything we want other than elevator with 2.4 radios. We, we can, uh, we, the, the tackle is there to do onboard things like flaps and retracts and what have you, bomb drop and so forth. The tackle is there to do all that with 2.4. And uh, um, it makes, Control line scale more interesting, I think. Hmm. So you think the, the 